Can you believe this is the last night of VBS already? I sure can't. The week went by so quickly. And we've learned some really great stories this week. Tonight's story is another great one, another of my favorites. It's the story of Peter walking on the water. He was very brave, wasn't he? He got out of the boat and he walked across the water, but then what happened? Oh no! He remembered that people aren't supposed to be able to walk on water. He forgot that Jesus had called him. He got scared and he started to sink. But even though he got scared, Jesus was there to pull him into the boat and that was a wonderful way to end the story because sometimes we get scared, don't we? Even though we know that faith protects us from getting scared, still sometimes we get scared and it's good to know that Jesus is there. Let's read that passage again from Ephesians about the armor of God and we'll talk about tonight's symbol. So get your shield of faith ready and your last symbol to put on it. Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. So stand ready with truth as a belt tight around your waist with righteousness as your breastplate, and as your shoes, the readiness to announce the good news of peace. At all times carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one, and accept salvation as a helmet, and the word of God as the sword which the Spirit gives you. Tonight, we're going to talk about the belt of truth. There are all kinds of belts, aren't there? There are belts that carry tools in them that sometimes people wear so they don't have tools everywhere. They can put them on their belt and then they don't lose them. But then there's the belt that just holds up your pants. That's a good thing too. But the reason that we're talking about truth as a belt is because it goes all the way around us. It surrounds us. And it is always good to be truthful. And it's always good to remember the truth like in tonight's story. The truth is that God is always with us. God is always ready to protect us and help us no matter what happens. This is a painting. It's called The Hand of God. It hangs in my office because this is one of my favorite images of Jesus. He's reaching down into the water to pull Peter out because even though Peter was afraid, Jesus was still there ready to help him. And if you look closely at Jesus' face, you can see he's smiling. He's not angry, he's just ready to help. Because sometimes we all get afraid, especially these days when things are different for us. We can't be together at Vacation Bible School this year because of the virus. We may not be able to start school in the fall and see our friends the way we used to. And we're worried that friends and other people that we love might get sick. But if you do get scared and you feel like you're gonna sink, just remember, reach up and take hold of Jesus' hand. That's why tonight, instead of putting a belt on the shield, we're going to put on Jesus reaching to us. So remember the first night, the basket that was salvation, the shepherd's crook that was the righteousness of God, that breastplate of righteousness. Then there was the word of God that we saw with the Ten Commandments. Then the dove that represented peace, wearing the shoes that are ready to proclaim the good news of peace. And tonight, the belt of truth. The truth that God is always with us and God will always be there for us. I hope you've learned some good lessons here at Vacation Bible School or Virtual Bible School as we call it this year about being afraid because people have been afraid for a long time because trouble does happen in the world. Remember Jesus said in the world you will have trouble but take heart I've overcome the world. So take heart. I hope you'll keep your shield of faith hung up in your house somewhere because sometimes we all need a little bit of remembering. We need to be reminded that God is there for us. So remember, if you start to stumble and you start to fall, that God will pull you up. Amen. Thanks for being here this year, and we'll see you, I hope, soon at church and in Sunday school, whether it's online or in person, and then next year, next summer, Vacation Bible School 2021.